In Seattle, we're surrounded by water. We've got Puget Sound and Lake Union and Lake Washington. And so water's all around us all the time. But to be right on the water is still always a fairly unique opportunity. Mike is not a guy to sit around ever. So I think running his own business and owning his own business is a really good fit for him. And we do appreciate the flexibility that it offers the two of us um, and our family. I think it's brought us closer together as a couple because we are not only managing our family and our life together, we, are, we have this sort of other child that, that is our business. My first real experience in Europe, one thing that stuck with me was Oslo and just walking through the downtown at night um, with our host and it was just noticing that a lot of the lights in the buildings were, you know, off. And I asked our host, hey, you know, hey, what's going on with the real estate here? Why is it so vacant? And I said, there's no one, you know, in their homes. They said, why would people be in their homes? And they said, you know, they're out here on the streets, they're at the cafes, they're at the restaurants, you know, they're living their life outside their home. It stuck with me that, you know, why would you want to live your life in your house? We spent a year going to different neighborhoods and just sort of hanging out, trying to get a feel of, is this where we would want to be? We were in a great neighborhood before. We both missed the vibrancy of a more urban um, neighborhood. But Seattle is pretty unique in that it has just a big family presence, and so we were lucky to have a number of choices in the city to choose from. And we settled on Queen Anne, and it has been an amazing community to be a part of. We've always wanted this space to be able to connect as a family and, you know, more often give us those opportunities. But that space could also be something that we have for our customers, that we have for our employees and things like that. Now this becomes something more than just a vacation property for us. Sleepless in Seattle Sleepless was, in Seattle. was yeah. introduced when we were, I think, teens or preteens maybe. Yeah. So it was this romantic idea of having a piece of property on the water and I had this you know, barge idea. So I called around to a couple of different marinas and just the price was just so expensive. But luckily I kept searching for barges on Craigslist. <laughs> and this houseboat was listed as a barge and with its location and the view, I was like, there could be something here. There could be something more than just a barge showroom. It's obvious right when you walk through the door and you see the view and the garage door that you're just in a really special place. I think we haven't even experienced the layers that we're hoping to have with the business community here. And we're just starting down that path to start bringing people in, having events here, opening it up to our clients to use for their own events. We really want to make it available to the whole community that we work with and let everyone feel like they can use this space to get to that feeling of sort of relaxation and um, getting away from it all. But we've definitely experienced that as a family. As a couple, we're always looking at, you know, how do we spend more time together as a family? When I come down here, I, I realize that I'm reading or I'm just taking in the view or I'm just, you know, listening to, you know, the kids talk. It's the first place I've seen him really relax. Everyone says it goes by so fast, right? You realize that, man, that thing I was stressed out about, like, in the big picture of things, like, really? Like, what? why am I worried about that? Like, life's gonna happen, I'm, you know, that's, that's not important. I'll do my best with it, and whatever happens will, will happen with it.